This is an exciting day. We are going to tackle the trolley problem. Is this a game? I go first. I call blue. There's no... no this is... I call blue. No, this is a thought experiment first introduced by British I philosopher Philip this. Foot in 1967. You are driving a trolley when the brakes fail, and on the track ahead of you are five workmen that you will run over. Now, you can steer to another track, but on that track is one person you would kill instead of the five. What do you do? Do we know anything about the people? Like, oh. is one of them an ex-boyfriend? Or I know that lady. a needy girl from Rite Aid who was always silently judging my purchases? Will that change anything? Yes, uh, because I can smack them. If you kill one person, then the other five people will have immense trauma from the situation. If you kill only five, the, the one person will have le less trauma in the world. It's like, yeah, Chicky, a baby Ruth and birth control. I see the irony. Keep a swipe and- You don't know any of the workers. Okay, well then that's easy. I switch tracks. Kill one person instead of five. But this is hard, because the only trolley I've ever been on is James Franco's ironic trolley. It travels backwards mm. from his penguin grotto to his what? garage of adult tricycles. Wait, what? <laughs> um, kill one and say five. Good, but there's a lot of other versions of this. Like, what if you knew one of the people? Does that change the equation? Or what if you're not the driver, you're just a bystander? Or let's throw the trolley out altogether. Mm. Let's say you're a doctor and you can save doctor. five patients, but you have to kill one healthy person and use his organs to do it. But that's not the same thing. Why not? It's still choosing to kill one person to save five, isn't it? Why not just like, not do anything. <laughs> Just like leave the healthy person alone. Leave the <laughs> you. You're not morally incorrect. I'm pretty sure because you you just don't do anything. Michael, you've been kind of quiet. What do you think about all this? Well, obviously the dilemma is clear. How do you kill all six people? So I would dangle a sharp blade out the window to slice the neck of the guy on the other track as we smoosh our five main guys. Why would you do that? Why would you kill six of them? That's my thinking. That is my thinking. Oh, I did the thing again, didn't I? Yep. Yes, no, you did. Good. You did more than the thing. Why is that so hard to remember? People, what is it? Good. Good. <laughs> what would the guy who said, I pick blue, how would he interpret that? I have to know. A runaway train is heading towards five workers on a railway line. There's no way of warning them. But you're standing near a lever that operates some points. Switch the points, and the train goes down a spur. Trouble is, there's another worker on that bit of track, too. But it's one fatality instead of five. Should you do that? Many people think the right thing to do would be to switch the points, to sacrifice one to save five, since that produces the best outcome possible. Hmm. Now imagine the train heading for the workers again. This time it can only be stopped by pushing a very large man off a bridge. His great bulk would stop the train, but he'd die. Should you do that? Most people no. say no. But why not? Both thought experiments are cases of sacrificing one to save five. What the trolley problem Whoa. examines is, is really um, dark. About outcomes or about the manner in which you achieve them. I mean... If he, if he's already not healthy, then... You can hear a trolley when it's coming. Why not just run off the tracks? He could have just looked and went, oh, we could just move. Like, burr, burr. It's that simple. They're all alive. Some utilitarians argue that the two cases are not importantly different from each other. Both have similar consequences, and consequences are all that really matter. In each case, one person dies and five are saved the best option in each harrowing situation. But lots of people say they would switch the points, but they wouldn't push the man off the bridge. Are they simply inconsistent, no. or are they onto something? Because the consequences, if you push a man off the bridge, you are gonna get sent to jail. So that's consequences for you. So I would rather let the five people die than have to push the fat man off the bridge. Okay, so explain the trolley problem to me. So, basically, if there's people right here, there's workers, mm -hmm. and there's one track, if it goes straight, there's five. If you switch the track to one person, then five people will live. Other, there's one. Yes. So you have to choose wisely. 
if you want to go this way and destroy five people. If you don't switch the fact, five people die, one person lives. Would you rather kill five people or kill one person? Maybe the other person's healthy, maybe the other person's not. If you were the person changing the track, would you change it to go this way? Or would you or would you keep it going straight? That's the try problem. It's sacrificing one person for five other people's lives. All right, now that we are uh, very clear on what the trolley problem is, I'm going to pose a few different scenarios to you. Ooh, I'm excited. I want you to tell me what you would do in each of these situations. Oh, God. So, in scenario number one, there is one person on one side of the track, mm -hmm. and there are five people on the other side of the track. Would you pull the lever to change the track from hitting five people mm -hmm. to hit just one person? I would rather kill one person. That's hard, because you might go to jail if you switch the track. But you might not, because you save, you technically save people. You're not, like, destroying more people's lives. I know the morally correct thing in everyone else's mind is, like, to choose, like, one person, but like less trauma if you choose the five people. I would switch it and as it moves, switch it again so the back wheels would get stuck on it and would just go foom, foom. That would kill no one. I wouldn't want to switch the track, but if I saw it coming up to five people, I would switch it. Five people's lives are, are more important than one. It's obvious because you don't want to destroy like, five people's lives. Sacrificing one life for five mm -hmm. is better. Yeah, I would have to kill the one person. Reason being, it's one life instead of five. Okay, now situation number two. On one side is your parents, and on the other side is five random people. Well, definitely the people I don't know because then I wouldn't I wouldn't like have and I wouldn't like be able to like you know like know where anything could go I won't even be able to come here oh my god that's hard <laughs> my mom's old she's crazy. no 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 I'm actually very kind with my mother and I love her very much yeah kill five random people you, you don't know you could be saving lives I know my mom's not a horrible person it's very complicated because I need my father, so I'm switching it to the five. Like, if you had problems with your mother, you would probably change it. But I don't, so I would... This is hard, because I would go to jail for sure if I did that. And I wouldn't be able to see my mother for probably the rest of my life. I'd kill the five people. I can't do anything without my parents. Your parents are the most important things of your life, people of your life. But random people are not, because they're basically, you know, they don't, you don't know them, they don't know you. It makes it more complicated because it's your family member and you're really close to them. I feel like my mom would probably say, save the other people, but I would save my mother. Third scenario. On one side is your mom, mm -hmm. and on the other side of the track is five people, but they're all your friends. Mm. Switch my dad and I have more of a connection than me and my friends. I love you, Mom! I love you, I swear. I wouldn't try to kill you. Yeah, I, I, I choose my mom because she's, she's old. This is hard because my friends are young and they still have a life. But she's, she's young, she's young. But my friends have like years ahead of them. If you're older, sometimes you already experienced a lot and you want the younger people to live more. I'm pretty sure teenagers might have like been in fights with their parents and would be like, I don't need my father, switch. And then like once you're back in like your 20s, you're like, oh no, I want my father. So it's very, it plays on age, it does. It's like, would you rather go with your family or go with your friends? There isn't really an answer for that one. For this answer, I really don't know. I don't, I don't want to answer this one. My friends are my friends, and I and then I won't have any friends. And then my parents are the most important things of my life, so it's like frustrating. I can't answer this. It's hard, right? Yeah, this last one's hard. Do you think there's ever a right decision to make in these trolley situations? No. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no. There's always gonna be someone who's like, you killed so many innocent lives, you could have saved them. If you push someone off the bridge, it's still a death, but it's a one person, and then the other six are still alive. But then you're just like, wasting so 
random person's life. Yes, some. Okay. Okay. Some. It's just hard mm -hmm. to do it between those, my family, mm -hmm. or really close friends. No, there's no right decision, because anyway, someone dies, and you're killing the person. So there's no right, there's no right answer or wrong answer. It's kind of a lose-lose, except when you pick my way, cause then it's a win-win. Except for the people who have to pay for the damage on the trolley. Thanks for watching this episode. How would you approach the trolley problem? Let us know in the comments. And subscribe to the channel for more Kids React. Bye! It's a runoff train where there's no one inside. So you could do that flipping the train into the middle, not killing anyone. Boom, Robert fixed things. <laughs>